I'm going to outline my philosophy of music. Over the next 40 days, I'll talk about music from four directions, um, similar to the four directions that I just approached art from. Um, you know, in this case, you know, music is you know, obviously especially uh, dear to me, and uh, for this first 10 days, um, I'll be talking about the general idea of transcendental black metal, um, sort of with two, uh, two angles that go together, but they're not quite the same. You know, one is just the idea of the history of music. You know, it's, it's, it's really of interest to me to be um, combining, uh, you know, really kind of contemporary extreme forms of music, like black metal, obviously, with um, more classical forms and uh, ancient forms. So, you know, a big reference point for me is Romanticism and post-Romanticism in the classical tradition. Um, which is a world that, like, we, you know, I don't know, like, the modern public really does not have direct access to. Um, it's kind of, you know, we find it in film scores, people still kind of write music in this style, but it's, it's a simulacrum. Um, but, uh, and then there is the um, more ancient, I guess, basically religious approach to music, you know, before there was a, uh, a public, before, before musical originality was mediated by capitalism, before there was a, a, a culture industry, because there was even a culture industry in the classical period, though it was obviously less uh, automated um, and not uh, electrified uh, and so forth. Um, but the industrial aspect is important because there was no... Uh, the, the piano is the key instrument of classical music and you actually need uh, steel uh, to make a piano. So, um, like industrial grade steel. And the... Uh, well, well, that's a... I'll make a whole video about that, but... Um, that as well as, you know, the kind of... perhaps ancient... Uh, destiny of music, which is uh, religious ecstasy, um, and because uh, as you, know, you probably know, I you know I see you know the point of liturgy is it's a liturgy, you know that it's a sort of religious ritual that puts you in contact with the divine, um, which is by no means an unheard of thing to do in modern or contemporary times uh, and like this was even the main topic of you know modal jazz for example um, but anyway that, that that historical approach to what music is that that is really a, about kind of breaking free from um, the contemporary horizon uh, and but not, but, but then reattaching it, <coughs> excuse me, is part one, so that's transcendental black metal. Uh, and then part two will, so two and three will be about my two main musical concepts, techniques, general tremolo and the burst beat. And you know, the burst beat is the really well-known one, um, but, uh, you know, general tremolo is um, an expansion of the idea of guitar tremolo, which is a key technique of black metal uh, to uh, to other elements of the mix. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll unpack it more in its own video or its own series of videos. And the burst beat is a drumming technique that um, uh, 
that expands on the notion of the last beat, which is the key rhythmic technique of black pedal. So some of this stuff is so, uh, the, the, the idea is, the idea of the burst beat is like my oldest thought, you know, um, and, uh, uh, and it's, it's been some time now, so it's, it's kind of, um, kind of funny to me to be even talking about it still. Um, I don't usually talk about it still, but, um, but I, I, but I use it. It's still the you know, kind of hallmark of liturgy's sound. Um, and then finally the fourth, uh, section will be about basically a speculative approach to constructing heaven uh, using the principles of music and music theory uh, and musical cognition, psychoacoustics, um, and uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'll, but I'll, you know, also, you know, these four perspectives, um, I'm still kind of hesitant about whether to dumb it down by saying this or risk being obscure by not saying it, but like, you know, there's, you know, one, one is, one is religious, uh, one is rationalist, one is materialist, sort of nihilist, artistic, and then one is um, basically a synthesis of the three. Um, and so I'll also talk a bit about those just different approaches to what music is. Um, for example, something that's really on my mind right now is um, really small uh, units of time. Like I'm really fascinated with uh, how, basically I'm really fascinated with picoseconds and nanoseconds. That's kind of like, um, as I'm like falling asleep looking at my phone or whatever, uh, I'm like studying how extremely uh, short time durations are, are measured, you know, the ones that uh, take place at the quantum level, um, near at, the, at, at the atomic scale, uh, which is uh, you know, about as small as those time scales are fast. So you have sort of picoseconds and picometers uh, and each of those are like to the negative 13 of a second slash meter. Um, there's something just really sublime about trying to, uh, or there's something sublime about, something sublime involved, a sense of sublimity in the experience of trying to imagine experiencing time at that small of a scale. Uh, you know, like we, like we can hear, uh, you know, like a tenth, like, like a tenth of a, somewhere between a tenth of a second and a hundredth of a second is sort of the fastest that you can really, um, play or hear, um, has, has a rhythm, uh, and so that's, um, you know, 10 to the negative one, or a second to the negative one, times 10 to the negative one, or negative two, but then negative 13 is really, really, really big. Um, you know, that's like 10, 100, million, a billion, a trillion, quadrillion, you know, it's, it's, it's a 13 billion. Uh, there's probably a Deca trillion or something uh, that is so fast, but like time really does elapse uh, at that speed, and it's and it's measurable, um, and most of 
you know, th like that, that, that's the speed at which the fabric of reality is refreshing. Um, some, some people think that, you know, that, that the speed of light is also very fast. Uh, like 300 kilometers per second or whatever. I'm actually not sure how those compare, uh, how many picoseconds the speed of light is. I'll look that up, but uh, yeah, things happen on an atomic scale much faster than light can travel. I think, wait, maybe that's not true. All right, anyway, I'll do some more research and get back to you. Uh, if you know the answer, <laughs> Uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, then, I, then I won't have to ask ChatGPT, who might get it wrong anyway. All right. Talk to you soon.